friends, good morning. I just rolled out of bed. It is bright and early, except it's not even bright because it's so early, but we are headed to the beach. It's just gonna be a little beach morning. I just wanted to start the day there because obvious reasons, I love the beach. And I'm taking Palmer, we're going to the dog beach, and we're just gonna have ourselves a beautiful summer day. So I'm excited to spend the day with you all. nothing crazy it is quite dewy and not rainy it's definitely overcast and it's kind of just like spitting rain but it's very relaxing and it was quite the hike to get here I will say though I always try to pack lightly especially if it's just me but I was still carrying so much stuff and it's quite a long walk to the beach from where you park so thankful we made it we made it in one piece and the tide is pretty high today so we can't really walk on the beach that much, but there's tons of boardwalks we can walk along. So that's pretty nice, but we got a nice view. So I think I'm gonna have my breakfast. I stopped on, I stopped at Starbucks the, on the way and I got a caramel macchiato. I've already been sipping on it in the car. It's really good. I haven't had a caramel macchiato in a while. So that's quite the treat. And then I also picked up some roasted red pepper egg bites and a bagel. So I'm just gonna munch on that now and enjoy the view. I fed Palmer his breakfast before we left the house, but I did bring him a little Kong full of peanut butter, banana, and blueberries, so I'll give that to him soon. do today is brainstorm our summer bucket list so just a list of fun things to do this summer and I actually brought a book that I was thinking of reading while we're here but I think we're just gonna pack up soon and just go on a nice walk along the boardwalk and along the beach and put our stuff in the car so we don't have to lug it around and then just head back home and I think I'm gonna brainstorm some of the summer bucket list ideas on my phone and then later today we'll write it on a notepad or something. So let me know if you guys have anything. Well, once I share all my ideas, let me know if you have anything on your summer bucket list. I would love to know what you guys are hoping to do this season. I 
Beatrice Nursery on the way home. So I just wanna browse around and see if they have a lemon tree because I have been on the hunt for a lemon tree to put on our back porch. We have the pot for it and everything. So figured we could see what they have. They have a few lemon trees, but they are quite huge. So that little one over there might work in the pot, but even that looks quite big, which is good, but also I don't, I need it to fit my pot. Okay, they didn't really have any lemon trees that would work well in the space. Also, I kind of figured that it might be better to get a larger lemon tree and then plant it in our yard, just like in the earth so that it can really grow even bigger potentially. But I did pick up this really beautiful sea, sea grape plant and I absolutely adore sea grape plants because of course they just remind me of the ocean. So I think this will be perfect in the pot and this looks like such a nice and healthy one. So we'll plan to repot it in that little orange pot on our porch once we get home. Okay, we just got home, got our plant, got our puppy. Brandon's out here too, he came to greet us. Hi, he wants to say hello. <laughs> So now, before we go in and take a shower and give Palmer a bath, I'm gonna plant this little guy in the orange pot. And then I also just need to like do some pruning to the star jasmine we have on our garage. So that's the plan. And then, oh, and I'm also gonna vacuum my car because it's so sandy. <laughs> vines are coming alive and we've got some flower growth again. Very exciting. Okay, I ran out of soil so I need to get more but it's very, very cute. I love the green and orange combo and it gives me that coastal energy which I love of course. All clean, clean as a whistle. What is cuter than a just bathed puppy? Nothing. Say hi, I'm so cute. I'm so cute and clean. Brandon made us lunch and it looks so fabulous. <laughs> He's calling it the, what is it? Summer sunrise Summer salad. salad. <laughs> it has mango, apple? Apple, blueberries, blackberries. Oh my goodness. Special dressing, kale and spinach. What is the special dressing? Olive oil, balsamic Secret? vinaigrette. You made the dressing? Hot sauce, honey and pepper what? and red pepper. Oh my goodness, a chef. We love a handsome chef. And then this little sandwich. Little sandwich. Oh my goodness, it's like a Cuban without the meat. Yum, bon appetit. Okay friends, here's what I have for the summer bucket list. So this is what I have for so far, but again, I would love to hear any ideas you all have and I'll definitely make a digital version of this and link it somewhere in the description so that you guys can take a screenshot if you want to. But we have have a beach day, which we can already cross off, but I definitely wanna do many more beach days this summer. And the next step, make popsicles, make homemade popsicles, which I'm ready to do right now. We have a whole watermelon in the kitchen. So let's do that after I share the rest of the ideas. Next one is make homemade ice cream. I don't have an ice cream maker, but I feel like there's definitely another way to make homemade ice cream. So we could definitely try that again soon. And I used to make a homemade healthy ice cream with bananas and peanut butter frozen bananas and peanut butter and it was really good so we could even do that again next up is road trip someplace new finish at least five new books watch the sunrise have a technology free weekend i really like that one 
make a summer playlist, go surfing. I haven't been surfing in so long, but I would love to do that again soon and take Brandon because I think he's surfed a couple of times, but I think that'd be fun to rent a surfboard and then do that for a day together. Next up, watch the Olympics. I'm so excited the Olympics are happening this summer. Dance in the rain, which speaking of, I think it's about to storm here. And then go on a boat ride, go mini golfing and get ice cream after. That just sounds so nostalgic. And then s'mores and bonfire, beach picnic, and visit the farmer's market. So that's what we have. I really love it. And I think another thing that would be fun is make like really cute friendship bracelets, like with a bunch of colorful beads. So I'm going to add that to the list as well. You comfy? You a comfy little boy? <laughs> Just spread out. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're so cute. You are so cute. Okay, here's the popsicle situation. We have a lot of watermelon. So I just want to use up the rest of this watermelon I already have cut up, but I actually have a whole other one over there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just cut that after, but I'll just use all of this for the popsicles. And then I have some fresh lime, so we'll juice these. And then we have some mint leaves. So the idea is just to kind of blend everything together. I'll actually just cut up the, like, you know, tear apart the mint leaves. I won't blend those, but I'll blend the watermelon, the lime juice, and I think I'll add a little, you know, squirt of honey to sweeten it all up, but super simple, and the watermelon is already so naturally sweet and tasty. remembered in 2013 which is a year after Brandon and I first started dating we were in high school I made a summer bucket list for us here it is and I posted it on Facebook like guys I have always loved bucket lists I just think they're so fun and I just always love to make the most out of different seasons and you know, do fun activities. So I'll read you what we have on this list. He had no part in this. He was just such a good sport about doing all this kind of things with me. He always has been such a good sport about it. But <laughs> it's so funny too, because I have like so many hearts. I used to dot my eyes with hearts. So there's just so many hearts. All the bullet points are hearts. The explanation points are hearts. Just a lot of love in my heart, I guess. So we have beach, golf date, Go kayaking, Wakaiva Springs, that's a natural springs we have in Florida. Burger 21, which is like a burger place. Um, I don't even know where that is, honestly. I think that's Burger 21. I think that might be, I'm not even, I don't even remember that place. <laughs> go karting, I wanna go go karting, go to a wedding watch disney fireworks which i already knew we had a wedding that summer because his brother got married to my sister-in-law now so that's exciting um watch disney fireworks go to a water park cook a meal work out together oh yeah <laughs> farmer's market i've always loved the farmer's market nature preserve bike ride mini golf fork and screen which i think is the dine-in theater we have at disney springs 
And then the last one cracks me up. I have Payway, which Payway is a restaurant. It's a chain restaurant. It's like the quick service PF Chang's. And it's really good. Like we like Payway. Um, but in 2013, there was just not one close to us. So like you had to go farther to go and we just both loved it. So I put that on our bucket list. It's just funny because it's a chain restaurant. Like, and it is good, but it's just nothing. I don't know if I would say it's bucket list worthy, at least now, but in 2013, it definitely was. So I just think that's the funniest thing. I'm glad I still have that so we can kind of compare our bucket list then to now. So very cute, young little lovebirds, but it's still, it's been thundering and growling outside, but I just, it still hasn't rained. So I'm hoping we get a little raindrops because I think a little cozy rain would be nice as we cook dinner, which I just have a HelloFresh meal, um, but it's like this corn soup that I've never made before. So I'm excited to see how it is. As you go straight through my heart. jar to collect some rainwater. Okay friends, it's still raining, but we've made quite the cozy situation out of it. I've got my book. I'm reading The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. It's super good so far. It's definitely heavy content though because it's the story takes place during the Great Depression, so super sad, but She's an incredible author, and I made myself a cup of mint tea, my absolute favorite at night. So I'm just going to lie in bed, read the book, sip on my tea, listen to the rain. Sounds like a fabulous evening, if you ask me. Palmer's finally taking a nap. He has been running like crazy after dinner. He got the zoomies. So yeah, thankfully he settled down because it's time to just zen out. So that's the plan for the rest of the evening. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and spending a beautiful summer day with us. I hope you guys have a beautiful summer season and I cannot wait to see you super soon. Bye.